How's it going everyone? Laughing here and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review of Demon Slayer the movie Mugen Train. Uh, but before I get into the review, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It super helps me out and it'd be much appreciated. Going into the movie, I was super duper excited, really big fan of season one of Demon Slayer. I was really looking forward to the movie itself. It also been a really long time since I've been able to go to a movie theater, which is kind of understandable to, to be honest with you. Uh, I will say season one is definitely required viewing before watching uh, the movie. You're, if you try to skip season one into the movie, which I don't know why you would, but in case you're thinking about it, um, you're going to be very lost throughout most of the movie. Uh, it, you still might, you know, have an enjoyable time, but you're going to be like, who's this? Who's that? What are they talking about? A lot. So definitely watch season one first. It's kind of a, a heads up to you. The main premise of the story is the main characters are going to go meet Kyojiro, who is an elite member of the Demon Slayer core or a Hashiro as they call them in the movie. And they're going to go meet them on the Mugen train to try to figure out why all these people are dying. There's a lot of unexplained deaths that are going on. And they also sent some Demon Slayers before who have since gone silent. Uh, so they're trying to figure out the mystery of the train. The characters in the movie, we'll kind of start with Tanjiro. He's the main character in season one. Uh, many of you probably know him pretty well. Of course, older brother to Nezuko, trying to find a cure for his sister who turned into a demon. Um, he kind of maintains his trajectory from season one. No kind of weird divergence or anything like that. Uh, but he does learn some cool new tricks, which is always good. And of course, we have Nezuko, the uh, girl who turned into a demon, but also does protect humans as well, and is the younger sister to Tanjiro. Um, she's pretty great in the movie, very cute, but also very fearsome at the same time, uh, very much like how it is in the anime. We also have Zenitsu, or Blondie as I call him, he's the lightning swordsman, uh, still very into Nezuko in the movie, uh, hates other guys who may or may not get in between him and his love, and um, he, I will say he is less annoying in the movie, which is really great to see. They also have uh, Inosuke, the, or, or Boarhead as I call him. Um, he's as wild as ever, you know, his character doesn't really change, they, you know, maintain his character, which is really nice, he literally still tries to fight everything, super competitive still, um, and also not, like, really annoying, I didn't find him as annoying in season one as maybe some others, um, but very manageable in the movie, which is really nice, and uh, also very, very good comic relief uh, throughout it as well. And last but not least, we have Rengeku Kyojiro, the flame swordsman, uh, the Hishiro, you know, elite member of the Demon Slaying Corps, a very eccentric guy. Um, I'll be honest with you, at first, when you first meet him in the movie, really annoying. Um, but honestly, as the movie goes, goes on, he was really turned into one of my favorite characters. Um, very, very much into protecting humanity, really wants to slay pretty much all demons, um, and just really nice, good guy at the end of the day, um, and also extremely powerful as well. Um, and I was actually really kind of happy that he was part of the movie. The movie would not be nearly as good if he was not in it, which I think is really important since he is kind of a, a newer-ish character kind of to the cast. The characters in the movie are all really good, both good guys and the bad guys on both sides. Um, the main cast are, are really fantastic. You get to know some of them a little bit more, which is awesome. And some of the issues I had with a few of them in the anime are actually kind of tweaked and, and, and better and land better in the movie. And I really hope that that really is the case going into season two as well. Um, and the bad guys in the movie are actually really, really good. I found that uh, their motivation for things, for the most part, made sense. And they were just kind of interesting to watch and kind of see them fight and, uh, you know, struggle uh, with uh, with the main cast. So yeah, in general, the characters as a whole were, were pretty spot on for me. Kind of an overview for the movie. The first half is okay. Um, it's a lot of character building, a lot of uh, suspense and tension building as well. We get to know Kyojiro uh, better, which is really good because he's a, a really a, a main part of the cast in the movie. And we get to know a little bit more of Tanjiro and kind of him as a character, which is always good. Um, but honestly, the second half of the movie is really where it's at. That's where all the action is. And um, yeah, like the action in this movie is 
really, really, really good. They do a fantastic job of really pairing the emotion that's going on with the characters with also the action that's going on. Uh, and they really just kind of splice them together and it, it really works. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, there were some like heavy action parts that like I also kind of got a little emotional with as well because of how well they, they pulled it off. Um, so I really got to give them, you know, a, a round of applause for that. They did a really good job with that. Uh, I will say I did kind of find the ending a little bittersweet. Kind of felt I, I would mention that. It wasn't a bad ending by any means, but it's, um, yeah, it, it was bittersweet. That's kind of the best way I could put it. The music in this movie is fantastic like 10 out of 10 they did a great job of pairing the music with whatever was going on screen whether it be kind of a slower moment building tension or an action-packed battle the music is just banging in the movie it is fantastic music gets 10 out of 10 from me easy uh, the animation as well also very very good um, I really enjoyed it the visuals are fantastic there is however some CGI in it which I feel like I do need to mention because in general I'm not a big fan of CGI in uh, anime and I know a lot of other people are like that as well so I do figure I would kind of mention it um, but personally I did not find it super distracting or anything like that their use of CGI for me was acceptable by like being a bare minimum on that it was at the very least acceptable um and like i said not not too distracting overall when it comes to an anime or TV show getting a theatrical release, I really want to see one of two things. Either one, uh, it's absolute groundbreaking, like it really kind of changes the overall story and like kind of what's going on in the anime and gives some greater context to what's going on in the series. Or it needs to be a complete standalone film where if you don't watch, uh, watch it, you're not necessarily missing anything for the series as a whole. It's just kind of like a fun side story. Um, that's kind of how I view these things and i will say demon slayer the movie doesn't really fit either one so it's definitely not a standalone movie let's just kind of get that out of the way but nothing super groundbreaking really happens in the movie there is some plot elements that are moved forward but it's moved forward very slightly like i feel like they could have done a very similar thing in terms of moving that plot forward in like three or four episodes uh just like in season two they didn't for me necessarily justify a movie um, and which was kind of a bummer because like for me, there needs to be some sort of like epic moving forward or groundbreaking thing that happens. Like let's say, you know, 50 demon slayers going against like a thousand demons because it's a big battle to kind of help stave off a demon invasion for like a region or something like that. Something crazy like that or finding out that Tanjiro is like a half demon like offspring because <laughs> his family is like a long line of like half demons or finding out that like the main character is like the nephew to like the main bad guy or something like that we don't get any like crazy plot points dropped like that in the movie um which i was kind of bummed about leaving it to be honest with you um like i said there are some plot things that are moved forward but at the end of the day if you don't watch the movie going into season two like, I think you're going to be okay. I'd say, like, you know, read a quick synopsis and you should be good. Um, but overall, I don't think this is really required viewing for the series, which I'm kind of kind of bummed on. I would still recommend the average Demon Slayer fan to, you know, check out the movie before you get into season two. And I think it will still help with context. Um, but at the end of the movie, we don't get, like, a clear vision of, like, where the main characters are headed next or, like, a, a main plot for season two. Um, so I guess in that aspect, I was kind of confused as to why there was a movie. Uh, but overall, I mean, the movie as a whole was really enjoyable to watch. It was a good thrill ride. At the end of the day, I just kind of got the impression that the studio just wanted to have a longer kind of fun um, kind of story arc, which there's something wrong with it. But why it had to be a theatrical release, I I'm, I'm, guess I'm still kind of fuzzy on. Um, that's just kind of my overall thoughts and feelings on this being a theatrical release in a general sense. As a whole, the movie is very, very enjoyable. Animation, fantastic. Music is just on point and awesome. Characters are very, very good as well. But like I said before, it does kind of lack the earth-shattering kind of gut punch of it being like a theatrical release. Nothing nothing that crazy really happens in it, which I was kind of bummed on. Uh, but with all of this in mind, I'm going to end up giving... Demon Slayer the movie, Mugen Train, an 8 
out of 10 overall. Um, once again, good movie. I really enjoyed myself, uh, but was really missing the point, I guess, of why this had to be a theatrical release in the first place, which for me is, is a decent negative at the end, of the end of the day. I will say, if you are a big Demon Slayer fan, I I'll tell you, you know, stop watching this review. Don't listen to me. Go, go watch it. Go into theaters. Go watch the movie. You're going to have a good time. You're really going to enjoy yourself. If you're more of like an average Demon Slayer fan or just anime fan in general, I'm going to be honest with you. I would just wait for it to come out on a streaming service more than likely before season two. I think that's the best bet. If you end up missing the movie before season two, um, kind of a bummer, I suppose, but you're not going to be that lost, I don't think. Like, I'll be honest with you, a five-minute internet search and taking, like, two, three minutes to kind of read on what happened in the movie, you'll be good. For the most part, you'll, you'll be fine. I think you might miss some of the smaller kind of context and hints of what's going on there, but ultimately, as a whole, you should be fine. Um, so, yeah, for me, I would say for most people, the average viewer wait for this to come out on streaming. Don't go watch it in theaters. But like I said, really big, super Demon Slayer fan. What are you doing? What? Go, go. Just just go ahead and go now. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have some fun. That is all I got for this review. Uh, down in the comments, what do you guys think? Did you go see the movie? Did you really like it? Or if you haven't seen the movie yet, did this review kind of help you make a decision as to whether or not you're going to go out and watch it or wait for it to come out on a streaming service? Let me know down in the comments below. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all fantastic. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this going forward. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, do something good for yourself. And as always, take care.